We are now just under five months away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about this film is that we do know that this movie will be filled with shocking revelations that will lead to saga wide implications in the Skywalker saga that may be a good or a bad thing for the franchise, it's all a matter of how it's going to be executed on the big screen and how fans are really going to react to it. And keep in mind that The Rise of Skywalker really is a film that's going to determine the future of the Star Wars franchise and where things are really going to stand once Episode 9 drops come this December of 2019. Now on top of all of this, what's really exciting is that these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film. And when it all comes down to one of the plans and one of the set leaks by Disney, Lucasfilm, JJ, and crew, this is where things begin to get very exciting by Episode 9. Now specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it said that one of the sequences that were filmed during the month of January of 2019 involved both Mark Hamill and Ian McDermott on set, where it said that Mark Hamill was portraying Luke in front of Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley as Kylo and Rey, where the Sith spirit of Palpatine was said to be voiced by Ian McDermott during the scene. It said that Mark Hamill was delivering dialogue to a green screen where Ian was standing to the side, shouting out dialogue related to a heated conversation between Luke's Force Ghost and Palpatine's Sith Wraith. It's explained that one of the scenes involved a vital piece of dialogue where Palpatine's Sith Wraith states to Luke a game-changing line where some words included Palpatine telling Luke a certain truth where he eventually drops the line grandson in one of the sequences. It said that be a scene where Sidious goes on to discuss the origins of the Skywalker lineage as we know it and that the scene will shock both Rey and Kylo Ren in the moment where Adam and Daisy had to act in a specific way. This is said to line up with how Palpatine was Anakin's father and of course how and, and how he was the creator that will be explained in the upcoming film. Hence Luke having a relation to Palpatine himself and why his family has a dark history. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, in case you guys did not know, it seems as though that J.J. Abrams really is trying to dig into the comics of, of course, the Star Wars universe under Disney and Lucasfilm, and is trying to incorporate that into the current, of course, live action movies, starting with The Rise of Skywalker. Now, in one of the comics we saw in the spiritual realm that Anakin Skywalker saw, the spirit, or should I just say Palpatine, pretty much manipulating Shmi Skywalker to give birth to Anakin. And that was a very interesting side of Darth Vader's travels through the spiritual realm. And now in episode nine, it seems as though that J.J. Abrams is using that as a way to really connect it to this vital moment between both Luke's Force Ghost and Palpatine's Sith Wraith where one of the big lines of dialogue is said to include a word, grandson. Now, what's really exciting about that is that this really does pay homage to how Palpatine acted in, of course, the Legends material. Now, this by far is the biggest, you know, hint and or indicator that Luke is indeed the grandson of Palpatine, hence Palpatine being the grandfather of Luke Skywalker, etc. And what I'm really trying to wonder about here is that, yes, we do know that in the EU, Palpatine called, you know, people like Leia his daughter and called Luke his son and stuff around those lines. You know, a great piece of dialogue from Dark Empire, I can remember on the top of my head, is that Palpatine, you know, even tells Luke, is it so hard to decide my son? And there's even a line of dialogue where Palpatine even says to Leia, where he even says, don't worry, my daughter. So it really makes one wonder if Palpatine is just saying grandson as a way to, I guess you could say, mock Luke or kind of give him a little bit of an intimidation. I'm not quite sure. But this most certainly lines directly out with what J.J. Abrams is trying to do with the big revelations coming our way in episode 9 and is by far the biggest hint and or indicator of Luke and Palpatine actually being related in The Rise of Skywalker. Again, like I say, we do know that J.J. Abrams wants to create game-changing, you know, revelations, twists, and turns that's going to change how we view the originals and the prequels. And this was an original idea, mind you, by George Lucas in the original draft of Revenge of the Sith, where he wanted Palpatine to reveal to Anakin that he was indeed his father and or creator, and that in a way I am your father and you can call me that. 
Now, very interesting, I must add, because we do know that George Lucas is involved with this movie, and it could very well be possible that that is exactly why this is coming into fruition, is because he's using his original ideas from Revenge of the Sith that were ultimately scrapped that are now being used in Episode 9 since Palpatine is back on the table here. One thing to keep in mind here is that Palpatine is not a mere cameo in this movie. He's not a small role. He's not just a character looming in the background. He's going to be a massive character from start to finish. He's going to grow. You know, he's going to pretty much grow from start to finish of Episode 9 and will have a big you know, uh, limelight, if you will, in the third act of episode nine, going up against Kylo and Rey. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.